Shoulder pain, shoulder pain. That's what we're going to look at today. So I've decided to go to three of our top experts that we like and we've used their particular techniques. Mike's holding the books up that they have written. These books are written for the layperson. Mike, can you talk a little more about them? So we're going to give you the best expert advice from each of these. We got Dr. Kirsch here. We got Robin McKenzie and our friend Rick Olderman. There you go. Let's go at it. But before we need to introduce ourselves properly. I'm Brad. I'm Mike. And behind the scenes, we have Bob. And together, we are the most famous physical therapy team on the internet. In our opinion, of course. And if you're new to this channel and happen to like this video, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. How do you do that? You hit the subscribe button. There you go. All right. Let's get on with the show. So we're going to show you the top exercises from each of them, the ones that we favorite are our favorites. We favoritize. I don't know the word for that. but Well, actually, you know, every shoulder injury is a little bit different. These are more for chronic shoulder pains. You, know, I want you to go through each of the exercises, and if it irritates it while you're doing it, it's almost certainly not the right one. If it feels good while you're doing it, and then after you get done it, it feels more relaxed and better, that's going to be the one you're going to want to continue with. So go through all three of them. See, there may be more than one that's going to be appropriate for your shoulder pain. So for the first couple, we're actually going to go Back in time, Ooh. we're going to bring Bob back into the equation here. So we'll show you a couple of these tips then. Yeah, so this is kind of like Doctor Who. We're going to go back again. This one's a really easy one. You just use a belt, and you're going to go ahead and... Let's see, how do we do this? Again? This is a little challenging to get it set up, but. Yeah, there we go. And the reason, use a belt that is smooth and shiny because, and you're gonna do it with clothing, and you'll find out why in just a second here. Sometimes if you have a little right. help. There, we, there go. we go. That's where That's you wanna get to. That's what I was trying to, to do. Yeah. So this arm is relaxed. So we're oh, trying I'm to show you is quite often what you're gonna find is the tight arm is down here, yeah. where the other arm I can put way up here. Right. And so I wanna get this arm up to that, equal with that one. So you're just gonna go pressure on, pressure off. This belt really does work well. I know. It's Once you get nice it set up, belt. yep, takes a little bit of doing, but it slides really well. Matter of fact, we did a video a number of years ago on a patient that she was set up for shoulder surgery, and then she said, "Can I do therapy?" And the surgeon said, "Well, go ahead. You can do it." Within four visits, she was doing this exercise. No surgery needed. Wow. Her arm was going from here to hear the cancel surgery, and I still see her, and it's still in good shape. Wow, so, nice. Yeah. yeah, there's some miracles every minute yeah. in, in a, the Bob and Brad Clinic, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, the last one we're going to do is this one you're going to need some equipment. I mean, you need a place to hang. Okay. And Brad and I have become big fans of this. Uh, I don't know, do we have our book around? You go ahead and start hanging. I'll yeah, I, I think it's right up there by the uh, prescription sunglasses or whatever. But are you over here, Liz? Don't don't worry about Bob. He's just looking through our yeah, library, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, you, you just need a hanging bar. Yeah. Um, and you're just simply going to relax, and hang. And you know, when I first heard this, I thought this is crazy. It's going to make the impingement worse. But once I read the book, understand the mechanics, and I start trying it, and we start working with people doing it, it's like, yeah, this. This can be really effective. Yeah, we've become big fans. Um, I, I, it, it's such an easy thing to do if you have the equipment, and you can wear gloves to right. help make it easier. So the book is uh, Shoulder Pain, The Solution and Prevention. Um, it's by John M. Kirsch, MD. We'll have it, we have it in our... We have it in our favorite books, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, he's um, an orthopedic surgeon. Matter of fact, he... he, he does his practice 30 miles from where I grew up in Wisconsin. Does he really? Yeah, Stevens Point. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah so, my daughter went to Stevens there Point. There you go. This is a nice town. Yeah, it is. Got a river running through it and everything. Go to Stevens Point, too. There you go. So here you're going to hang 10 to 30 seconds, depending on what you tolerate, uh, up to three repetitions of that. And depending on how, how you respond to it, so the first time you do it, it might get sore. But after you do it for a few days, you'll be able to do this two to three times per day and start to, we've really had good success. And you with still this. said seconds. Remember, we promised seconds. And yeah, so it's 30 seconds. There you go. Out of your day, and, and you can make a great improvement. Oh, that's so. right. We've got to stick with our titles. All right. Thanks, uh, everybody for watching. Remember, we can fix just about anything except a broken heart. There it is.
Boom, boom. But we're working on it. We'll, we'll never stop. So now we're going to show, we went through Robin McKenzie's, we went through uh, Dr. Kirsch, and again, these books are available, and they're very detailed. They'll help you out if you want to learn more details about their treatments. Uh, now, Rick Olderman, this book is a relatively new book, about one to two years old. Rick wrote it along with Bob Shrepp. There he is, and it's uh, the top three fixes, the top three exercises that Rick recommends for different parts of the body. So we're going to talk about shoulder pain and how he uh, recommends for uh, the best success. Go ahead, Mike, show him. We show him the door. We should mention Rick has a new bane. Bane, a new book out called Pain Patterns. I combined book and pain. Oh, pain came out patterns. With. Anyway, the first one we're going to do is you're going to need a doorway or you can use a stick. If you have a pull-up bar whatever, you're essentially going to be placing your painful shoulder up. Hand is facing away from me. And then I'm going to bend my knees and lean into the door frame. I'm going to get a good stretch in my shoulder blade region there. Now, this is kind of similar to Dr. Kirsch's hanging, except for you're just just doing one side, we're stretching this way, going out, we're getting in a little bit of lat stretching as well. So it's slightly different. So make sure to try them all and see which ones make your shoulder feel the best. That's right. Again, if you don't happen to be the right proportion so you can grab the uh, door frame above safely or you don't have a safe uh, woodwork, simply take a stick. If it doesn't have a rubber tip on the bottom, which it may not, put it in a shoe like this on a cupboard, reach up as high as you can, and then you simply do the same motion. Hand is pointed away, bend your knee, allow that shoulder to stretch and hold. You can stretch and hold. Again, it should feel good. If there's a little pain at first, it might be okay, as long as the pain feels better and gets better the longer you stretch. If it just hurts more and more, you're gonna stop and not do this one. So start out gentle, use good judgment. Let's go to his second exercise, Mike. Okay, the second exercise is quite simple. Oftentimes the middle trap is weak, making the shoulder mechanics not work properly, creating pain. So Mike's gonna show a simple prone exercise. Uh, you could do it on a bed, probably a carpeted floor would work better for filming, we're doing it here. Mike, can you explain it? So first off, when you're laying like this, make sure your pillow's folded up so you can breathe or put your hand here on your forehead. So this is gonna be my painful shoulder. For beginners, what you can try to do is just simply lift your whole arm off the mat. I'm squeezing my shoulder blade in and I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds and then I'm going to relax. I'm going to try to do that 10 times. It's really going to strengthen that mid trap muscle. If this seems easy for you, what you can try to do is put your arm more out to the side. You can roughly go 45 degrees. So this is zero and this is 90, kind of somewhere in between. The further out, the more challenging it's going to be. So again, I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blade and then I'm going to do little oscillations. So I'm going to go 10 one direction, stop, do 10 the other direction, and then come back and relax. And you can do that up to 10 times as well. It's really going to strengthen your mid-trap muscles. That's right. You know, you can do this and then go to the other shoulder, compare one side to the other. If you clearly notice one side is weaker, you really need to work that because it is a problem. And the last stretch that Rick recommends is simply to help your posture. So oftentimes as you get this rounded posture, people are not even aware of it. But if you lie down on your back and then you uh, use gravity, uh, Mike is gonna show you how to correct the posture by using gravity and stretching these anterior muscles or the pec minor and the pec major muscle so that you go from here to here. You, the shoulders work better, you look better, you breathe better, everything's better with good posture. So for beginners, if you have a really tight neck or upper back and you can't even get your head to the floor comfortably, this hurts too much, you can place a pillow underneath mm -hmm. your head to begin. You're gonna put your palms facing upward and then you have to have enough room and you're basically gonna make a snow angel. If you're not from the snowy regions of the world, <laughs> this would make an angel in the snow essentially. So you're just gonna bring your arms straight up trying to keep contact with the ground. If you are tight, your arm might start creeping up off the ground as you bring it overhead. That means that side is tight. Try to keep it down on the ground as far as you can. If you start to get pain, just go up to where you feel the pain and then go back down, slowly progress up. If this is easy for you right away, keeping contact with the ground, ditch the pillow, 
And then you would do the same thing, do 10 repetitions. When you're at the top, I like to feel a good stretch, maybe even push the shoulders up a little more. As you get above head, your elbows are gonna creep up a little bit. Notice mine aren't touching anymore, but my shoulders and my hands are. That's okay, as I come down, my elbows will touch again. If this seems easy for you and you're not noticing much, you can take a foam roller of sorts, put it underneath you. There's different densities. Pick which one's most comfortable for you, but you want one that is rather long so you can reach your buttock all the way up to your head while you are lying on it. So I'm here in this position, same concept. It's just a lot more challenging. Obviously my elbows aren't touching because that's pretty hard, but I'm gonna try to keep my hands in contact with the ground as far as I can, go up and then back down again. You may notice a difference side to side, especially if you have a painful shoulder. You may not even need to get to the advanced and actually purchase a foam roller, but it does help and it's a little more aggressive. Um, so that's up to you. You could actually put a pillow. Here, l move your body once, Mike. <laughs> Try this. I'm trying to save these people some money. Now, throw the throw pillow. And it doesn't work as good, but it does elevate the chest and get a little more stretch. Don't you, do you concur? I, I concur. Uh, not, he, not as much of a stretch. He likes works. this because he has one at home. I have the exact one at home. It's very nice. Once you get used to it, you really want to stick with it. I know how it goes. All right. Let's, uh, and if you want to get more information about Rick Olderman, he's got a wonderful website, uh, rickolderman.com, to find out more about Rick. Uh, we've uh, found out about two years ago, three years ago. Yeah. Uh, and he's just been a real delight to uh, get some new information. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical 